Today I'm going to take you through my lower body routine. It's for strong sculpted butt and legs. I'm doing this about twice a week on non-consecutive days. It consists of six exercises. I'll put up a list. I do the six exercises as a circuit, one after the other. It takes about 10 minutes to complete one circuit. I'll do it three or four times for a total of 30 to 40 minutes and then a five minute stretch at the end. So I'll take you through the first exercise. It's a couple of squats actually, so it's two exercises. So I do my squats with a bar. You can do them just as body weight squats or you can use dumbbells. I'm doing 10 squats. And then I'm going straight into a wide leg squat. This really works my inner thigh. When I come up on the wide leg squat, I'm really focusing on contracting my inner thigh. I'm really squeezing, starting in my feet. So I'm using my feet to get a really good contraction in the top of my thigh. So still holding the bar in the same position. You bend forward at the hips until your back is about parallel with the ground. Feeling a real stretch in your hamstrings and your glutes and then you come up. Pushing forward through your hips and contracting your glutes at the top. Feel a really good stretch right down the back of your legs. Then I'm going to do hip thrusts. You need a bench and you have the bar across your hips. I think you can also use something like a weight plate, something heavy that you can hold on your hips if you don't have a bar. It's a tricky one to get into position by yourself. Your shoulders have to be just on the edge of the bench and then you hold the bar or the weight just across your hip. Now all the um, tension has to be in your butt, not your back. You don't want any tension in your back at all and you're going to raise up, pushing through your heels until you feel a really good contraction in your glutes and then you lower. And at the top, giving it a really good squeeze. You don't want to feel any tension at all in your back, so contract your core. So I get down on all fours with a really straight back and a very tight contracted core. I'm going to do donkey kicks. It's quite a small movement. Just pushing your heel up towards the ceiling and really feeling the contraction in your glute. It's very important to keep your core switched on because that will protect your back. On the last rep, I like to hold the contraction for about 10 seconds. And then I switch legs and I do 10 reps on the other side. And the last exercise I do in this circuit, it's my wall sit. So you're sitting against the wall, lowering down so your legs are at right angles and just hold. I hold it for 60 seconds. Got to have your core switched on and make sure you're pressing your back nice and flat against the wall and all the weight is in my heels. So that's one full circuit. In between circuits I like to rest for 60 seconds but I do it with a nice stretch to stretch out my back and all of my legs. So I just get down on the floor so I'm walking my hands forward as far as I can pushing back my butt onto my heels and really stretching out my back and my butt and my legs and I hold this for about 30 to 60 seconds and that's kind of my rest between circuits. That feels great and then I repeat the circuit three or four times. I always do that stretch in between. At the end of the fourth circuit I like to do more of a stretch first one I do is for my quads. I just grab my heel behind my butt and really stretch that quad. 
I do both sides, obviously. The next stretch I do, I lean forward and I grab hold of my ankles. And I try to get my head right between my feet. Really stretching out the back of my legs. And then when I come up, I pull on my ankles until I can feel a really good stretch in my back, in my lower back especially. So that's my lower body workout. It's really brilliant. But and thighs. I'm trying to do that twice a week on non-consecutive days and another two days a week I'm trying to do my upper body workout. Total of four days a week. If I don't hit that target I don't stress but that's my goal. Well I hope you enjoyed that video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and I would love you to subscribe to my channel just by clicking the subscribe button below. I bring out new videos every fabulous Friday and we also have the new Wednesday weight loss challenge. Love you to join us for that too. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you soon. Bye.